Hi guys, welcome you again to another interesting news. As we all know that, the issue of protest has been the order of the day in Nigeria and this is the day 2 of the protest. Just like we've heard from different people saying that, protest in Nigeria has never been peaceful. Now, it has just been reported again that thugs loaded in buses disrupted the end bad governance protest in Kano State. They targeted homes, they targeted businesses with matches. This is a statement from the governor of the state, Governor Yusuf. He said, thugs loaded in buses disrupted end bad governance protest in Kano State. They targeted people's home businesses with matches and they were causing a lot of mayhem. What is your take to this? Well, we would like you to see tight as you go into the full details of the news. According to the news, the Kano State Governor Abaye Yusuf has accused the opposition party or Progressive Congress APC for sponsoring the talks and hoodlums who hijacked the end bad governance protest in the state. In a viral video on Friday, the governor on the premises of the Kano State printing press, which was vandalized on Thursday, said, Yesterday, protesters gathered at the government house as promised, and security operatives welcomed them without any issues. We were waiting for the governor to address them when suddenly buses carried talks. Buses carrying talks arrived, pardon, and violence erupted. The attackers started looting government properties, attacking homes with machetes, and targeting private businesses to steal their belongings. The protesters in large numbers invaded the ICT park, broke into offices and made off with state-of-the-art equipment worth billions of naira. Some of the looted items include computers, air conditioners, chairs, tables, solar batteries and panels. The ICT park was scheduled to be inaugurated next week by the governor and the minister. They also attacked the Sharia court, looting and destroying everything inside. At the Kano State Government Printing Press, they stole the engine bought by the former governor, Aldo Bako. They vandalized the facility removed the roofing sheets and set it on fire. The attackers went to local stores looting essential items such as granite oil. We appreciate the courage of the security operatives who overpowered the attackers and recovered some of the stolen items. In a statement released by the spokesperson, Battery Dawakin Tofa, the governor experienced, you know, expressed regret that certain individuals, referred to as enemies of the state, had allegedly hired dogs from within and neighboring states to infiltrate and disrupt the planned peaceful protest, resulting in chaos and unrest in the state previously known as its tranquility. We are aware that the unpatriotic politicians from the opposition party have sponsored talks who are on rampage, looting and destroying properties of innocent citizens, he said. At least two fatalities were reported in Kano State amid the end bad governance protest 
which swept across the country, including Kano State. Widespread looting and chaos ensued, prompting the state government to impose a 24-hour curfew to restore order. What is your take to this? What is your own reaction to this development? A lot of things has been happening as regards to this end bad governor's protest and people are saying that there were a lot of peaceful protests in different states when it comes to the turn of Kano State people start stealing solar panels and batteries chairs table and other office equipment this is just to let us know that this protest has been hijacked in Kano State what is your take to this in a viral video on Friday, the governor on the premises of the Kano State Printing Press, which was vandalized on Thursday, said that yesterday we gathered at the government house as promised and the security operatives welcomed them without any issues. They were waiting for the governor to address them when suddenly buses carrying talks arrived and that was the beginning of violence. That is what has been said. What is your take to this? We would like you to share it with us via the comment section on the spend development. There has not been any peaceful protest in Nigeria. So, what is happening now is not new. A quick reaction from Michelle saying that we will surely keep protesting. Nobody can actually stop us. Nigerian leaders are animal in a human form. They are heartless. They don't have pity. They don't deserve peace in their whole life. May God punish all of you. This is a powerful reaction from Michelle saying that the Nigerian uh, politicians, the Nigerian leaders are actually the brain box behind the hardship Nigerians are facing at the moment and none of them will know peace because Nigerians are going through a lot. What is your take to this? Line between literacy and illiteracy also spells the line between protest and riot a civilized educated way of voicing out is protest reporting to the police suing etc while the activist manner doing the same is rioting setting things or human on fire etc the south protest while the north riots education is the key but our leaders have engaged you know have changed the padlock what is your take to this this is a reaction from enemy david saying that the southern part of nigeria the one you know doing the main protest while in the northern parts what they are doing is riots education is the key it's just that the leaders we have in nigeria have changed the padlock what is your take to this we have the key boys the padlock has been changed so how do we expect the door to be opened we would like you to share it all with us via the comment section we would like you to let us know what your take is on what governor yusuf have said do you think apc is actually behind the talks that hijacked the protest in kano state we would like you to let us know your own take to this thank you guys for listening do subscribe to this channel